Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the PDF Element team and I'm going to be your host today. Sometimes when creating or working with PDF files in general, you might come across the situation that you need to reference a certain part of your research paper or maybe you were using some kind of picture that you found from an external source. And it might be beneficial to link to this external source using a so-called hyperlink. And that's what we are going to talk about today, how to implement hyperlinks inside of your PDF document. But before we dive into the main video, don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare PDF Element channel if you're new to the channel, as well as to activate a little notification bell on there. This way you're never ever going to miss out on any kind of updates, future features that come to a PDF Element, or maybe you want to see more videos with me and really doesn't matter what it is you want to do, make sure to become part of the PDF Element family. And now we are going to dive right in, shall we? After opening the PDF file of your choice, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the edit tab and from there you're going to click onto the link button where new options are going to pop up immediately. So the first one is the go to a page view option and this one is especially useful if you got for example a table of contents available inside of your research paper for example. This way you can mark out a section for example the first part of your research paper and this one is going to link to a different page on your PDF file. For example you click on the first point and it's going to track you to page number three. I'm going to show you how you can set all of those up. At first click on the go to a page view option. Now you are going to notice that your cursor is going to turn into a cross. This is going to help you mark out the region which is going to act as your hyperlink. Now mark the part which is going to link to a certain page, for example this header right here, and a new window is going to pop up. Inside of this window you can at first choose where you want to link to. For example we want to link to page number 3. And now you can also change the appearance of your hyperlink by clicking onto the appearance button. Now in the appearance tab there are a lot of options available to customize your very own hyperlink and I invite you to play around with those options for yourself at home. Just as a little example, for example the link type. How about getting yourself a visible rectangle that we just traced out around your hyperlink. You can click into the box redirecting you to the certain page that you link the hyperlink to. And you can also customize the border, maybe you want to have a different line type or maybe you don't want to have it in grey, you want to have it in blue this hyperlink. No matter what it is you want to do, try it out for yourself and you can certainly customize your hyperlink however you wish. And once you're done with everything, as always, click onto the OK button. And now we are going to go for the second option, namely we are going to redirect ourselves to a web page. This one right here is probably one that you are going to use most often when referencing external sources like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, at the end of your research paper for example and you want to link over to a Wikipedia article for example. Now for this you are going to click onto the Open a Web Page link. And once again you are going to trace out the region which is going to redirect to a certain web page. For example this Platon Yellow Sea. Now obviously you want to get redirected to a certain reference page. For this put the URL of your choice into this box, for example pdf.wondershare.com and once again you can change the appearance however you wish. Once you're done click onto the OK button. And the last kind of hyperlink you can add is hyperlinking to some kind of file on your PC. You are probably familiar with this procedure from PowerPoint presentations for example. Maybe you want to link to some kind of sound sample or picture on your PC by using a hyperlink. For this once again click onto the link button and open a file. Then mark out the region which is going to act as your hyperlink. And now you are going to select the file on your PC by clicking onto the three little dots. And as always customize it however you wish and once you're done click on the OK button. And now we are finally done. We have added all of our hyperlinks and now we can go ahead and try them out, shall we? For example what about go to page number 4. It works out very nice. Maybe we want to get redirected over to pdf.wondershare.com. Let us click onto the link. And now PDF element is going to ask you if you really want to um, open up this reference. This is just for your own safety and if you're okay with this click onto the yes button. And you see the site opened up successfully. What a huge success. And now what about the picture? Clicking onto the picture link once again asking you if you really want to open up a file because it could contain viruses in the worst case possible. If you trust the file once again click onto the open button. 
an out picture popped up magically. And this basically concludes today's video. I hope this video was helpful and to your liking and if it was make sure to subscribe to the Wondershare PDF Element channel. We are going to do a giveaway here on this channel regularly so you should definitely subscribe and stay notified by clicking the little notification bell down there. Other than that this has been Jens from the Wondershare PDF Element channel and I bid you farewell and please stay safe. Have a good one. Ciao!